Do I have some news for you? I sure do. And I have some news for me. You and I are both, at the same time, we're learning something. We are. Which is... I've never seen this video. But I've seen it, but I've never seen it. But I've seen it before. But never seen it. I've never seen it. So, like, I was... Poisoned. Not politically. Poisoned. Just po I poisoned myself. I took liquid poison and poured it in my head, but not on, not on my head, like in my mouth. And I watched this whole video, someone told me. They could be lying. It could be a very elaborate scheme. But supposedly I've watched this whole video before. I don't remember any of it. So I'm watching it the second time for the first time. And I'm actually like super, that makes me very curious. Like I really want to know, like, how do I feel about it? I can't imagine that it's bad though. I can't imagine. But I just wonder what I, I wonder what my verbiage was. Like what did I say before? It doesn't matter to you because you can't go find it because I didn't post it. It's like on some like live, that's uh, just a lot of fucking wasted time. Let's go. Let's do, the song's already dope. We know the song is good. We know the dancing is good. We're just watching the dance practice and I'm watching it the second time for the very first time. Good job. Okay. This is like a, such a layer of difficulty. Like, what the fuck did I say in the past? There's no, it's probably not gonna be the same thing. But anyways, let's back up. Already in here in the beginning. When these guys come out here, so we have Taman in the middle, and we have the two dancers on the side. What it immediately does is show you how CRISPR Taman is on his dance moves compared to these guys. You just watch them side by side. It's not the same... It's not, I mean, it's the same, but it's not the same. You know what I mean? It's the same moves, but it's not the same. Oh, what the fuck? Hold on. It's like a wave. So what is it? Taman plus two plus two plus two wait how many people is that seven but i like how the moves just cat i'm always i've been ever since i first found k-pop i've always been a sucker for this this middle spreads spreads but what's different about this one is normally it's spread spread it's like you might start with a three and then go to a five and then maybe expand, but it's always bigger, bigger, bigger. But on this one, I think is the first one I've ever seen where it goes like a diamond shape. So it goes bigger, bigger, shrinks with the dancers. And did he just chop the dancers down? Yeah! Yes, he did! They're like ducking. Pow! Pow! Actually... Maybe I'm not drunk enough. I'm picking on like other aspects. Right here, right there. I'm actually like trying to like see like how when people bend down, like where are their backs? Like are all their backs all level? Obviously they can't be. But the closer they can get, the cooler it's gonna look. Let's slow that shit. Right here. See, so you can see some things. It's so like the girl on the far right, her head's actually still up. Where we have a lot of dancers where their head is down. That's something, I'm not a dancer, but that's something I pick on. It's like, hey, when we all lean down, you tell everyone, hey, when we lean down, we're looking at the floor. 
or we're looking 45 degrees this way, or we're looking horizontal, or we're keeping our heads up. But right now we have some people, well, like not some, we have I, I, we have a decent distribution of people's heads not being in the same line sight. We don't count Taman in that because he is the soloist. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. But I think maybe the move for everyone is you keep your head down. Everyone put your head down to the floor. Look at the floor on this move. Anyways, keep going. I'm gonna, so far, I'm going to give the women more consistency. It's not necessarily better dancing, but just more consistency and uniformity in the group than the guys are doing. The fucking song is killer. You know what it is with the guys? There's too much variation. There's too much variation, like when they look a certain way. Like when they look and how they look. Like how quickly do you snap your head around? And when you snap it, where exactly is your is your focal line? Like are you snapping straight 90 degrees? Or down or up? It's it reminds me of orchestra playing, which is like when people are moving their bows. Ideally, in an orchestra, you're going to get everyone kind of moving the same way. It's not that they have to. It's for a consistency, a consistent look and feel with the members that we're all moving our bows this way at the same time, roughly the same distance. If you have like horn players, we're all taking our breaths at the same time. Not because that's the only way to do it, but because we're trying to make everything blend together as one uniform object. So... I think I think everyone in the video is excellent. They and they must be because how how the fuck else are they dancing with Taman? But there's some things. There's some things. It's like why are we not nailing this? Why are we not telling people like very direct cues of when you turn your head, you turn it this way. You move on this part of the beat, you move on this part of the beat, you land. And when you land, you're looking here. You're looking directly across at a wall or you're looking at the ceiling or you're looking at the floor. Everyone, when you turn, every one of you, I should see your eyeballs at the floor. So I feel like that's some consistency that's missing. <laughs> Actually, you can really tell it on this hand movement here, which is probably the hardest to choreograph. But when they're pulling with the elbow, you can see right now that almost all seven are... They're all almost moving at seven different speeds. Can we slow that down? So they're... So you got to look at what's in time, what's not in time. Their feet are very in time. But the elbow movement is not in time. But, like, extrapolate. Like, if you can get the feet in time, you can get the elbow in time. Same thing. Two appendages, you rotate, right? Two feet, you rotate. If you can get the feet in time, you can get the elbow in time. Still sick, though. that is the same thing as we saw in the beginning but now they're spread out we had that diamond shape in the beginning where it was very close and they're moving but now that shape is spread out and we have more people i'm not sure how many 12 i don't know how to count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay maybe eleven but that same idea where we're spreading out the movement and the actual spacing of the dancers is further apart still super sick but I'm going to go back to the earlier thing, talking about the timing, is that you kind of got to look at the leader. And Taman is fucking crisp. That dude is, he's on fire every time. 
So like if your if your main dancer was a little off, then maybe you know you could say, well, what are we supposed to do? But if your main dancer is on point, dare say I compare him to MJ, which is that like, well, he's doing it. He's doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. So you should be doing everything in your power to mimic that and be figuring out like, where are you not nailing that? And don't go, well, that's MJ or that's Taman. I can't do it. Like your job is not to make an excuse on why you can't do it. Your job is to figure out how you can get closer and closer to mirroring that. And he's got a nail for a whole, you know, concert tour or whatever. You just focus on one song or one set of steps. How do I get close on this one set? That's fucking sharp. That might be the best of the whole video. That's fucking on fire. Everyone nailed that. Hold on, I'm gonna say that again. That, like, five seconds, six seconds, I think is going to be the best of the whole video. Everyone was on point. Also good. Wait, hold on. Let me see that again. See, now they went back to not for the lack of consistency. By the way, well, there's no one here who hates me because they would have already left. If you've seen me before, you know I love this song. I love Tame and I think the whole dance is, is amazing. But everyone was so focused. But when we went right back to this part here, and I'm going to try to freeze it where he kicks his arm up in the air, um, up in a diagonal. <laughs> Right here. Look at everyone's arm. Taman's our leader. Look at his arm and look at everyone else's arm. We have maybe one guy on the left and one guy in the back, maybe that are close. And every other single person is not even close to his arm angle. He's up here. He's way up here. And we have a lot of people down here. Some even lower than that. Dude, everyone should be up there. You don't have to be tame to get your arm up there. You just gotta put your fucking arm up there. So I'm not I'm not really sure how you explain that, how people are like really on point in one section of the song. And here they're not. I would blame the boss. I assume there's a director. And you pause everyone and you go like, what the fuck are you guys all doing? Your arm goes up here. Kind of, it's kind of shocking to me, actually. This seems kind of, um, it seems very messy. Oh, and look at their hands. <clears throat> now that I'm looking, it's even worse. Look at everyone's other, uh, their right hand. So everyone's left hand is up in the air. Is that right? Everyone's left hand is up in the air. So look at their right hands. If you look at their right hands, they're all doing radically different things. We have one guy whose hand is against his chest. We have three people whose hand is reaching out like this. We have two girls on the side that their hands are actually closed and against their chest. Everyone should have a really clear instruction on what our fucking hands are doing right here. And we have three different... This should be one thing all together, and we have three different sets of hands going. Oh, and by the way, Taman's is the only one that's Taman. If you look at Taman, his hand is open, but it's by his face. He's got his hand turned, and his hand is up by his face. Not one other single human being... Well, actually, never mind. There's one guy off to the right... But his hand's out here. He's turning his hands out here. Taman is close to his face. No one else in the group has the hand up close to their face. Some people's hands are down here. 
Someone else's hand is over here. Someone else's hand is like this. Tell them, hey, if nothing else, hand, open palm, facing away from your head, close to your head. That's where it should be. Can't do it? Replace you. Maybe I'm a dance coach. It's my first time. I think maybe I'm, I'm a dance coach because someone should be fixing that. Turns out I'm a dance coach. Don't do that shit, guys. What the fuck are you guys doing? I like that. I like that. How can you not like that? Just... I'm assuming he's murdering people with his presence. This is my... This is my first video ever after... I don't know how many dance practices I've watched. This is my first video ever actually spotting what I think is systemic flaws in the dancing. Which might make the video terrible. Like maybe you're like, what's he talking about? What does he care so much? But I'm seeing things that seem easily solvable. Right? I'm not a professional dancer. I'm not even a dancer. And when I see that many people in a group making a mistake, there's some problems with the leadership and on the clarity. I don't think those people are too dumb to get it. I think someone's not telling them, hey, at this point in the song, X amount of you are doing this and you shouldn't be. All of us should be doing exactly the same thing. And so, so, for example, right? Let's go back to this hand thing here. If everyone's hand was up, but someone had a hand up here and someone had a hand down there and someone had a hand over here, you still want to clean that up, but you go, well, that makes sense. Everyone's still doing the same action, just the placement of their hands off. But if someone's hand is against their fucking chest, and another hand, person has their hand in a fist, and then someone else has their hand near their head, and we have 11 different hands going around, that's a, that's a lack of clarity from the director on what should be going on at exactly that moment. Which probably means we're focusing on more on different steps, like maybe there's a quick turn or a quick twist, or we want to get everyone's feet in alignment, or we get everyone's head in alignment. And so we're focusing on those aspects and we have those nailed. But then we've neglected that when we get all those correct, that you have some hand placement issues that don't make any sense. And they should be very much addressed. And if someone as dumb as me spots that that's a problem i shouldn't be able i'm not a fucking professional dancer i shouldn't i shouldn't notice things like that i should watch this video and say that everything that happened is the best thing that i've ever seen that's how someone like me should watch this video and when i see inconsistency like that Not gonna lie, disappointed. I, I think the video is great. I think the dancing is awesome. I think Taman is the shit. But I, I think those mistakes are kind of. I, I 100% don't think this is how I reacted to it the first time. But I think that's sloppy. You know, I'm saying, and again, I'm saying out of a range, a range of dancers, right? If we're taking all the dancers on earth and we're looking at this execution, super high, super, super duper high. But if we're taking all dancers that are like an eight and above, and we're taking, let's say Tame into this video with 10 different sets of dancers and all of them are eights or higher, I don't think this would be in the top 50% of that. Okay, this concludes the video where I'm gonna get 1,000 thumbs down. Thank you for fucking hating me. Appreciate your thumbs down. 
I'll see those later. It's going to be great. Uh, oh, yeah. And I appreciate your comments like, what the fuck do you know? You don't know anything about anything. I'm like, of course I don't. I'm like, you're fucking such an asshole. I am. It's true. And I'd like to see you dance like that, dude. I'm like, well, I can't. I can't do that. So I'm, I welcome those comments. It's going to be really fun to um, love those comments. You're in your fucking room, dog, talking shit about the fucking best dancers on fucking earth, you fucking loser. All right. Hey, it's a good comment, dog. I'll see you in the comments.